All right, we've been working a lot recently uh, with linear equations, and the question that I'm seeing happen a lot more often in class is, what are these different strange letters actually mean when we're talking about the linear equations? So to start off, first off, we've got the dependent variable. Um, that's going to be your y right here. Dependent variable is basically what we're trying to solve for. So if we change our independent variable, how is that going to affect the dependent variable? Um, talking about the independent variable, that's it right here, the x. Um, this is the thing that we're going to change and see how it affects the dependent variable. Um, you can see right next to that we've got the coefficient of x. This is the m. It's basically the number that we multiply the x by. And then the b over here on the right is going to be our y-intercept. Um, so let's just go ahead and start talking about the y-intercept. Basically the y-intercept is the situation where if x is 0, what is, um, what's our starting point? So if x is 0, what is our y going to be? That's what the y-intercept is going to be. Um, we've had a couple of equations um, that we've been working on. Uh, for instance, the uh, pledge, pledge plan that students have had. And the y-intercept in this situation is going to be before they even start walking one kilometer, so that's when x is zero, what is y? And we had one student that got a $10 pledge you know, that didn't involve any walking. We had another student that got a $5 pledge before they even walked a kilometer. So again, the y-intercept is your starting point. Um, with Henry and Emil, the y-intercept was the 45-meter head start. So before one second had passed, how far ahead was um, Henry, the younger brother. Uh, the next one that I want to look at is the coefficient of x. And another way that we can think of the coefficient of x is that constant rate of change. Uh, I like to call it croc in my classroom just as a way for kids to remember it. So the constant rate of change is how much something is being changed by. So again, with the walkathon, we had some students that got like 50 cents per kilometer. So the rate of change was at 50 cents. Uh, with the walking rates, uh, Emil walked one meter per second, so his rate of change was a one. Um, I'm sorry, Henry walked one meter per second. Emil walked two and a half. So his, his m, or his coefficient of x, or the rate of change, was two and a half. Um, and again, your independent and dependent variable uh, really depend on what the problem is. Um, and having said that, we've got Alana's pledge plan right here. Um, that's the one that we've been working with a lot. And we've got it set up two ways. The bottom way down here um, is set up as the y equals, I'm sorry, the top one is the y equals mx plus b. Uh, the bottom one down here has got the mx and the b switched around because um, addition is commutative. So this one is actually in the setup of y equals b plus mx but it, it really doesn't matter when you look at it that way. Uh, so if we look at, at these problems right here um, on the top, we have Alana's dependent variable is going to be the amount of money that she can raise with her pledge plan. The independent variable over here is the d. Um, instead of calling it x, we called it d for distance in kilometers. And then next to that is our coefficient of d, or the coefficient of x. And in this situation, that's 50 cents. So she gets 50 cents for every kilometer she walks, plus her y-intercept is 5, because at 0 kilometers, she still has that $5 donation that she got from somebody. Uh, in my class, I like to say she went door-to-door, -door and her neighbor gave her $5. And then she said, come back later, and I'll give you 50 cents per kilometer that you walk. So again, the a is going to be our y. The 5 tenths is going to be our m, the d is going to be our x, and the b is going to be all by itself over here. Your b is always going to be all by itself. Your mx are always going to be together. Uh, hopefully that's going to help you guys work through these problems. If you have any other questions, by all means, ask a question here on the YouTube page or go ahead and post it in Schoology.